Hello everybody, I'm Jonathan from the Cambridge Swimming Company and welcome to this week's aerobic training where we are focusing on the pool. I'm sure that the water won't mind if we rest here for the night and leave before sunrise. As we always do, we're starting off with the developing group and do your dry land warm up at the side of the pool or on your way. Uh, if you don't know how to do that, there is a demo video that is out, so find that on our YouTube channel and you can follow that and then make sure you're warm, you're stretched off, muscles ready to go and then jump in the pool and we carry on our warm up in the pool with an easy 100 of your choice of stroke and then an easy 100 freestyle or actually just slightly more than easy, so up that intensity to about 70%. Then we're going to go into our drills this week, and this week we are using a pull boy for these. So a uh, pull boy is a small boy that goes between your legs, kind of hold it. Uh, just above the knee between your thighs is the conventional place to do that. For the advanced group, we may move that around, but for this group, just put it in the standard traditional place. And we're going to keep that for all of these drills. So starting off with fist drill. So fist drill is where we have our hands normally like this. We close our hands into fists, which removes the surface area of the hand and makes you use the forearm as the paddle. So it forces you to use your forearm to pull the water back. So because you've removed that, you have to get the good catch and you have to use this part of your arm uh, to, to pull the water back. So 50 of fist drill, then 50 of freestyle. So remember, it's all with a pull boy. 50 of catch up. So catch up is you don't take the next stroke until this hand catches up with the next one. But what you want to avoid is crossing over and touching hands. You want to keep your hands in line with your shoulders. And just when you catch up, take the next stroke. Then another 50 of freestyle. So pull boy between legs, just the freestyle pull. Make sure you're not staying straight. You want to keep your rotation going. So 45 degrees, 45 degrees as you're swimming your stroke. And then 50 fingertip drag. So fingertip drag, the demo video here, but you drag your fingers along the top of the water, keeping it nice and relaxed and close into your body in line with your shoulders so that your hands are always moving in the same line. So the rotation is key to making that work. Okay, and then we repeat those drills. So doing all of those twice, then into our main set, which we're also doing twice. Uh, so for this is pull boy and paddles, but we're alternating between using all the, the, both pieces of equipment and no equipment. Don't worry if you haven't got the uh, pull boy or paddles, um, you can just swim freestyle on this and you'll still get benefit. But the main benefit, like the more benefit will come if you use the equipment. So it's very simple. We're going to do 100 of freestyle with equipment at 80%. We're up in this to our kind of aerobic threshold intensity. So 100 with equipment, 100 without equipment, 100 with equipment, 100 without equipment, and then finishing off with 100 with the equipment again. So it's a 500, sorry, 1,000 of aerobic swimming there. Then an easy 100 freestyle just to flush out the system at the end, just to make sure you're relaxed. It's about 1800, so it's not about, it is 1800. Uh, and then do your choice of cool down in the pool, so make sure you stretch off, relax a little bit in the pool, and if you feel like it after that, so maybe another couple of real easy lengths, just to make sure you're ready to go for our technique and speed sessions, which come later in the week. And uh, we recommend people do those because that's where the the fastest progression comes from your swimming. You do work on an aerobic training set in the week, work on your technique, which we do, and then work on your top end speed as well. And that top end speed as it increases filters down through all the other paces and makes your aerobic swimming easier to cover certain distances because your overall paces just increase. So uh, well done everyone, it's a good session. It's a relatively simple one, uh, but you'll really feel the benefit in your pull for doing it and I shall see you all for the technique session. Uh, if you want to get involved in our technical and speed sessions uh, they'll be coming up later in the week on our Patreon channel which is patreon.com forward slash camp swim club. I would love to see you all there. Okay welcome to the experience squads aerobic session for this week. Like I said we're focusing on the pull so start off dry land warm-up if you're new and you don't know how to do that there is a demo video on our YouTube channel of how to do a full warm-up uh, or uh, the principles behind the full warm-up. So you can follow that video, make sure you're warmed up, your muscles are ready to go, your joints are stretched out, and then jump in, carrying on the warm-up in the pool with a 100 easy choice of stroke, and then a 200 freestyle, where we're just increasing that intensity to 70%. So not easy, easy, but just a little bit more effort. Then we're going to our dwell, drills, drills, we're gonna do our drills that we're doing twice. We're gonna use a pull boy. Pull boy goes 
um, it's a small boy that goes between your thighs, just above the knee, and means you don't have to kick. So it removes kicking from your thought process so you can focus on your arm movements, and in this case, the pull. So doing 50 fist, fist drill, so where your hands would normally be like this, we're closing them to fists to remove the surface area and make you use the forearm as a paddle. So it makes you use this. So you really have to get a good catch. Your catch has to be really good so you can hold the water with your forearm and pull back that way. So 50 of fist drill, then 50 of freestyle. Remembering this is with the pull boy. 50 of catch up. So catch up, you don't take the next stroke until your hand catches up with the next one. Catch up so you can really isolate the arms. We don't cross over, we just keep our hands in line with our shoulders. So don't increase drag in your stroke by doing that. Just keep them in line, we're just doing catch up. But this doesn't mean you don't rotate, so still rotate through your stroke. Another 50 of freestyle, and then 50 of fingertip drag. There's a demo video here, but dragging your fingertips along the surface of the water, keeping it nice and relaxed. So nice relaxed recovery, and then uh, underwater. Make sure you're thinking about Getting a good catch, holding the water, and pulling all the way back. So that's uh, 250 of drills, which we repeat, so that's 500 of drills. Then into our main set, which is a pretty simple one this time. We've got either freestyle with no equipment or freestyle with a pull boy and paddles. Uh, so if you haven't got pull boy and paddles, you can do it all without those. But uh, for the biggest benefit, we recommend you use them. So it's 100 with equipment, 100 without, 100 with equipment, 100 without, 100 with equipment, and then repeat. So it's a thousand of aerobic swimming. So that's all 80% or a kind of an aerobic threshold that we're pushing. A lot of equipment, a lot of um, normal swimming as well. Then when you finish that, 100 of choice at 70% and then a 200 easy freestyle just to really flush out the system at the end. It's 2,100 in total. Make sure you kind of stretch off in the pool, relax a little bit. And if you need to, swim another couple of lengths so you're ready to go for the technique and speed sessions later in the week. Uh, the technique and speed sessions we recommend people do because if you're working on your aerobic base uh, in the week and then you work on your technique and your top end speed over the course of uh, weeks and weeks and months and months, your technique improves, your aerobic um, endurance improves and your top end speed, that's the one a lot of people miss, increases as well. And that filters down through all of your swimming. So we recommend everyone does all three of those uh, and those can be found as full camp swim club members. Well done everyone and I shall see you all at the technique session later in the week. Uh, if you want to get involved in our technical and speed sessions, uh, they'll be coming up later in the week on our Patreon channel, which is patreon.com forward slash camp swim club. I would love to see you all there. Welcome to the advanced groups aerobic session and like I said we're focusing on the pull this week. So dry land warm up, if you're new and you don't know how to do a dry land warm up, find our YouTube channel, or you're on it now, and you'll find a demo in there of, of how to stretch off the principles behind or how we warm up, how we stretch our uh, muscles, tendons, joints and prepare for swimming. And then carrying on the warm up, and jump in the pool and an easy freestyle 100 and then a freestyle 200 just upping the intensity a little bit to 70%. And we've got a set of drills to do. We're doing these drills twice and we're using a pull boy. So pull boy is the little boy that goes between your thighs just above the knee. And we're starting off with a hundred of fist drill. So a fist drill, your hands are normally like this. Close them into a fist. When you catch, you've lost that surface area that was there. So you have to use your forearm. So you get your catch and you hold the water with your forearm and pull it back. So a hundred of fist drill, then a 50 of freestyle, a hundred of catch up, so catch up. We are not taking the next stroke until we catch up with the hands, but we don't touch, we don't cross over, we're avoiding that. We're just staying in line with our shoulders. That's our catch up. 50 freestyle and then 100 of fingertip drag. So we've got the demo video there. Drag our fingertips along the surface of the water. Nice relaxed recovery, staying in line, keep making sure we're rotating and focusing on our pull underwater, so making sure we're getting a good catch, holding as much water as we can and pushing all the way back. So we're doing those drills twice and then into our main set, which is pretty simple. So we're gonna have pull boys and paddles for this, but we're gonna alternate hundreds between, well, actually 200 some of them, between wearing them and not wearing them. So we do 100 of, with equipment, a 200 without, a 100 with equipment, a 200 without, and 100 with equipment, and then we're gonna repeat. So we're alternating between where we can really focus on our 
technique of the pull and we've increased, increased the resistance by using that paddle and then we can make sure we're not losing that when we introduce the kick as we're alternating between. Right, so then uh, 200 of your choice of swim, just lowering that intensity just to cool down a little bit and then a real easy 100 freestyle just to finish off um, and then that's your lot. Make sure you stretch off in the pool, you relax a little bit. If you feel like you need to, you can swim another couple of lengths then you'll be ready to go for our technique and speed sessions which are coming. For people who are new, we recommend that you do uh, the three sessions a week because if you're working on your aerobic base, your aerobic endurance increases. You're working on your technique specifically, your technique gets better. And then we work on our top end speed at the end, which filters down into all of the effort, effort levels you get. So your 70% um, speed through the water Will be, ha will be faster because your top end speed has got much faster. So as you work on um, all three over the weeks and months and years, uh, your swimming gets much more efficient and much faster. So that's why we recommend all three and you can find all three at the Cam Swim Club. Uh, so well done everyone and I shall see you all next time for the technique session. Uh, if you want to get involved in our technical and speed sessions, uh, they'll be coming up later in the week on our Patreon channel, which is patreon.com forward slash camp swim club i would love to see you all there i'm sure that the water won't mind if we rest here for the night and leave before sunrise